Hello! So it's been a while since I've done a sit-down vlog. In fact, it's been a while since um, I've been caught up with vlogging anyway. If you haven't noticed, it took me years and years and years to catch up to where I was because I was so behind. And in that time, I have gotten pregnant. <laughs> I am currently 32 weeks pregnant. Well, I'm gonna be 32 weeks officially tomorrow, so 32 weeks pregnant. And a lot has happened that I haven't really uh, documented in the right way, or the way I usually do because I was so behind. So I have tons and tons of clips of things that I just haven't shared, so I figured I could do like a sit down talking style update as well as showing clips that I do have. So that's what this is. <laughs> uh, it's just gonna be a pretty much overall experience of my pregnancy thus far. So let's go back to the beginning. The story of how I found out that I was pregnant. That's actually really interesting, <laughs> to me anyway. I was in fact six or seven days late, but I honestly didn't think anything of it because that happens when I get really, really stressed. And I was in fact really, really stressed. <laughs> the reason I was so stressed was because the week before that I found out, the house next door caught on fire in the middle of the night while I was home alone. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up to a loud banging on my door at like 3 in the morning and didn't know who it was. I called 911 and the 911 operator asked my address. I told her and she was like, it's a police officer, the house next door to you is on fire, answer it. I was panicking, I answered the door and the officer was like, if you have any kids, get them ready just in case you're okay right now, but just in case it gets worse. And I was thinking, I don't have any kids, but I do have cats and fish, so yeah. We didn't even have our other two cats with us. We didn't have Ferret and Zoe. We only had Toulouse at that point. Chris wasn't home because he was literally going to bring Zoe and Ferret to our house that weekend and that's why he was gone. What I did was I threw my cat in a moving box because Chris had the cat kennel. Threw my fish in a cup. I didn't throw him. You know what I mean. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <sighs> Nothing happened. Everything was good. Um, but I was really stressed from it, so I was late and thought that was why. So I had gone down the week after the fire incident to visit my family and also run a 5k with my friend Crystal. While I was down there I had gotten Chipotle with my mom and I had some leftovers because I very rarely finish my Chipotle burrito. So I get home and Chris comes home from work on his lunch and he's making himself lunch and I was like, oh I have my Chipotle, I'll eat my Chipotle leftovers. I open up the bag and I smell it, and I instantly feel really sick. <laughs> if you know me at all, Chipotle never makes me sick. I love Chipotle, I could literally eat it every single day, and I felt so sick, and I was like, hmm, that's weird. <laughs> so I told Chris, I was like, I'm Chris. <laughs> I feel nauseous smelling my Chipotle, and he was like, oh yeah? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't remember like the exact words, but it ultimately led to me asking him if he could buy a test on his way home from work later that day. It wasn't the fact that I was late that I thought, it was the fact that I thought there's no way in heck that I would ever not want Chipotle. <laughs> Hours later, Chris comes home from work and he brings the test and I'm like, you know, I've been waiting hours and I'm like, I need to take this test. He was like, I'm starving, I need to make myself food first. So he starts making himself quesadillas and I was like, how can you make quesadillas at a time like this? But I couldn't wait. So while he's making his quesadillas, I just took the test and I went to the bathroom. <laughs> I didn't even tell him, I was just like, I can't wait, I've been waiting all day and I just, I just can't anymore. So I took it and I do have a clip of me looking at the test for the first time, so I'll put that here. I was really surprised, like, you always see people's reactions and I honestly was like, 
I don't know how I'd be, but I just honestly, I feel like I felt like I was in shock. Like it didn't feel real. It was just a very weird feeling. And then he was making quesadillas. <laughs> According to him, he noticed that I had taken the test off the counter while he was making the quesadillas. So I had called him into the room and I was like, Chris, <laughs> come here. And I was sitting on the bed. I remember I was crying and he came into the room and I think I said something like, I'm for real, he's pregnant. <laughs> Yeah, the box is open. Totally. Um, I'm actually for real, he's pregnant. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. cool. That's what you say is cool. <laughs> yeah. See, I wasn't wrong. For once. <laughs> yeah, it felt more sure this time. I don't know, like, I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I started crying like, instantly, and then I came out there and you were in the middle of cooking, and I'm like, I can't tell you to come here, you're cooking. It's like super bright too, because sometimes people say it's like super faint. That's super bright. It's super, super definitely for real. Alright, Josh, sleep there, Sienna. I know. I'm gonna get another September baby, I guess. There. What, did you look up possible due dates? No, I'm just <laughs> counting nine months from now. <laughs> now. And my dad and my brother. It doesn't feel real yet still. A little, I think. Look at it. No, it does. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Well, oh, there's a baby inside of me right now. Well. I guess we'll see in the near future. Tell me how you're feeling. <laughs> excited. Cautious, excited. I'm scared. Not. I just don't want anything bad to happen. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm cautiously excited. That's super, super, super bright. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, I can't, do I even want to eat the quesadilla you made me now? So I went to Disneyland two days ago, but all the like. No rides were open. I'm glad I didn't go on any rides then. Well, I guess we'll see in the next few months. <laughs> From now until then, I guess we'll share the exciting news <laughs> when this gets posted. If we're still pregnant or not. Don't say that. <laughs> oh my god. He was so happy and I was just like emotional and obviously happy, but I was just like, this just it just didn't feel real. I don't know how to explain it. So the way we told our parents is I set up a cute little Valentine's Day gift. It was after Valentine's Day, but I figured, oh, we haven't seen you, so here's a cute little Valentine's Day gift. We did go to Chris's parents first. Unfortunately, his dad was actually in Texas, so we didn't get to tell him in person, but we did get to tell him through video. So I will put the clips of us telling the parents and siblings and nieces here. I knew you'd know. <laughs> Sorry, Josh, another for your birthday month. Wait, Thanks, Matt. <laughs> you 
I mean, what? <laughs> what? Who let me know? <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, it's it us. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get you to bring the girls today. <laughs> I'm going to beat them up right now. But it's there, baby! <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is just getting burned all around. <laughs> Can't go no anywhere. Facebook posting. No Facebook posts. Someone, you just gotta text Katrina. Oh. I don't think Casey. Uh, I don't know. Just it in case. Be <laughs> Better safe than sorry. So, Tabitha and I have something to share. Yeah. Well, Tabitha and I are gonna have a baby. <laughs> It's our baby. You're going to have a baby cousin. It's our baby. It's Uncle Chris and Tabitha's baby. He's going to live with us. Yeah. Yeah. Tabitha's going to have her own baby. I know you're talking about that. We're going to have a baby. We're going to have a a baby cousin. I love you too. <laughs> the baby may be born around your birthday too. What? <laughs> In September. <laughs> yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Why are you trying to pinch me? Because you excited? Now that she knows it's not her baby. Yeah, it's not your baby. It's our baby. We're going to have a baby. There's another baby too. She's going to have a baby cousin to play with. Yeah. Yay! I got you a little dog. Take it. Both of you. I'm kidding. Oh my god. No! <laughs> what? What? I didn't look yet. What, what? is it? Open it. Yeah, you... but I know what it is. I haven't seen a damn thing. Oh my god! I'm gonna cry. Are you kidding me? Why would I get it? Oh my god! Chris! 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 Somebody just said to me, I speak of my cousin Eddie, and he was like, are you ready to be born Oh my god, I have to pretend that I'm single this time. What, what do you mean Oh god, you and your headaches. 
<laughs> you and your year of the pig. Still in the first trimester, but that's crazy. That's it. <laughs> that's crazy. Show me the shirt. What do you mean, really, Chris? <laughs> yes, oh, really. <laughs> <laughs> you need a minute? Are you like in shock or something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? That's just like crazy. <laughs> Mom screamed. <laughs> Did she whip the Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Obviously our families were super happy. We did tell a little early because I was starting to feel really nauseous and I honestly couldn't hide it anymore. My mom kept asking me, how are you feeling today? And I was just like laying in bed and feeling awful and I just couldn't hide it from her anymore so we did tell our families a bit early. We did make an appointment to confirm. We got our first ultrasound. So this is from our first ultrasound that was taken on Valentine's Day and you can see it's just a little a little peanut right there. This tiny little dot and that's it. It's just this tiny little dot and then we got the confirmation. Pretty much instantly after we told our families, I started feeling really sick. Like I was already like a little bit nauseous and I thought it was pretty bad, but like as soon as we told them, I went in like a downward spiral of nausea that I can't even explain to you. It was so bad. I literally couldn't eat anything. I pretty much lived off of chicken broth and whatever I was craving at the time. And if I was craving it then, I had to have it then Otherwise it would go away and I would not be able to eat it. Some of the cravings that I had during this time, the number one was a uh, lime and potato chip, specifically Lay's. I couldn't eat anything, but I could eat a whole bag of those specific potato chips. Fruit by the foot, which we still keep in the house, but I thought Chris was the sweetest because I told him I was like, I need fruit by the foot. And he went to the store and got every single flavor of fruit by the foot that they had and I just thought it was the sweetest thing. Also Capri Suns. I only wanted to drink fruit punch Capri Suns. Which is weird because obviously Pacific Cooler is the superior Capri Sun, but nope, I didn't want that. I only wanted the fruit punch. So I feel like I had more food aversions than actual cravings. There was so much stuff that I did not want. The number one thing would be meat. I was literally a vegetarian for about four months. I couldn't smell meat, I couldn't eat meat, I couldn't think about meat, and the worst offender of all, which I still don't want to eat, <laughs> is in and out The smell, if we drove by one, oh my gosh, I can't even explain to you, it was literally the worst. It made me want to throw up. I feel a little sick just thinking about it right now, which sucks because I love in and out <laughs> Certain things started tasting weird and the flavor changed. First thing that I noticed was cilantro. We had gotten some Mexican food and I got some some uh, french fries that had cilantro on top. As soon as I opened it, the cilantro, it smelled awful. And I tried it and it tasted awful. And I can't even explain to you how weird it is. Like I know everybody tells you when you're pregnant things will change and you want different things and whatever, but ugh, I could not eat cilantro. Another one was strawberries. Strawberries tasted like I was eating just straight up dirt. It tasted like I just took a scoop full of dirt from outside and put it in my mouth and that's what strawberries tasted like. Another one was ketchup. I was at Chris's family's house and 
I had some ketchup and I was like, oh, the ketchup went bad. Chris was like, no, it didn't taste fine. And then I went to my family's house and had some ketchup and I was like, oh, their ketchup went bad too. And then we went to a restaurant and I was like, oh, this ketchup is bad. And Chris was like, I think it's one of those pregnancy things like the strawberries and the cilantro because all this ketchup is fine. <laughs> but luckily, since getting out of my second trimester, I have been able to eat everything that I liked before, minus in and out So the next time we had an ultrasound was in March. Baby was so much bigger and we could see him wiggling. It was just the most surreal experience because it's just this, it went from a little tiny speck to like this little thing with legs and wiggling. The, a uh, nurse there who kept saying like, oh, it moves a lot. And at this time we didn't know that he was a boy. She was like, oh, he moves a lot. Like he's very active. And he was so active that they could not get a good picture of him. So literally the only good picture that we got was uh, this right here. So uh, that's his head and that's his arm and his little fingers and hand. And he's just saying hi. And that was the best picture they could get that day. Honestly, that was just like a prelude to him being very camera shy for every single appointment from then on. <laughs> so we did have one more ultrasound shortly after that. Um, apparently they couldn't see his heart properly because he was moving around so much. So we had a follow-up one only about two weeks later. This was the best picture that they could get. He kind of looks like a little alien. Uh, they did get a good picture of his heart, but he was still moving around like crazy. And then a month later, we did have one more ultrasound to confirm what the sex was, whether he was a boy or a girl. And the nurse was super nice. She was like, do you guys want to know? And we were like, yeah. And I was super nervous. I don't know why I was nervous. I honestly didn't know. Like my whole pregnancy, I had no idea what it was going to be. But the funny thing is every time I've dated somebody I've always had dreams of having future children with them Every other guy that I've been with before Chris I always had a dream that I was having a girl first and Chris is the only one that I ever had a dream that I was having a boy So like I kept that in the back of my head But like I didn't have like a feeling or like and I know it's this like I honestly had no idea So she turned the monitor and she was like so that's leg that's leg and that's, and she kind of hung and she was like, yep, it's a boy. <laughs> and like me and Chris were holding hands and I just felt so overwhelmed with emotion. I was just looking at this like little baby and thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a son. That's just, it's just so crazy to me. So these pictures are from that day. I do think they are the best pictures that we have of him. He was still super wiggly, but he was in a really good position and kind of cooperated more than he usually does. So this one's actually pretty long, but I'll focus on one because I think they're really good. Like I said, these are the best pictures we had, um, but I will focus on one. But I love these pictures so much because you can totally see his head, his nose, and even like the outline of his little lips. It's just so cute. So after we found out that we were for sure having a boy, we did a really cute uh, gender reveal photo shoot. My friend Rachel actually took the pictures for us and I appreciate it so much because they came out so cute. We did a Mario themed gender reveal and I'll put the pictures in right here. has these little Yoshi amiibos and we were like oh we could use the Yoshi amiibos because he had a blue one and a pink one so we were like okay that's a perfect idea and then I made the little sign and we bought some balloons and there you go that's how that happened but thank you again to my friend Rachel because I love the pictures so much they're just so cute so then of course we had to tell our families what we were having originally we did want to tell them in person but I was just so sick and I got car sick so bad that the drive I just couldn't do the drive anymore like we went down a couple times it was just unruly how sick I got in the car that we were like we're just gonna video chat them and tell them this is us calling our families to tell them that we were having a boy we did have the leftover balloons from our pictures so we just <laughs> brought the balloons out to be like it's a boy first of all happy birthday mom Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's, <laughs> Should we sing? I know you think it's a girl. You think it's a girl. What's your vote, T? Uh, if I have to vote, it's probably a girl. Do you have anything you want to say before you see? No. no. I'm excited either way. <laughs> you ready? 
Yeah. You ready? Oh. It's a boy. <laughs> Y'all are wrong. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> yep. It's a boy. And Dad, you said you knew it was a girl. I did. Congratulations. <laughs> no, you did not know. So yeah, there you go. Balloons. <laughs> I know that was going to be the first question, and no, we do not. <laughs> How about Joe? <laughs> By the way, I saw what you said, what Grandma said. I think that our son is going to be cute too, okay? I know, but he's like, but little girls are so much cuter. <laughs> well then. Well, you have enough nieces, now they've got a little cousin boy. Yep. Are you guys surprised? Yes, very Yeah, surprised. I think I, w I would be surprised either way. Yeah. So what, what did you just do for Cinco de Mayo? Nothing. Did you make some kind of Mexican food or something? I can't eat meat. <laughs> Unless I just have a bowl of guacamole. But anyway, stay on topic, Dad. Gosh. What? No, I. We're talking about a baby boy here. Can we get a grip? I have ultrasound pictures I could show you um, really quick. Hey, can you. Where is the. Can you grab the ultrasound picture? Show. Sure. Okay, that's upside down, Mr. I know how to show. Okay, let's see. There we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? The head? In the I body. See, yeah. I don't see anything without my glasses. Yeah, look. Kind of cool. Yeah. Is this the head? No, the head's right here. Yeah, uh, you can see the nose and the little lips. Oh, oh, wait a minute! I see the little mouth. Yeah. Oh my god! Look, there's the forehead and the head. Yeah. Oh, mom. Tinted. What happened? You, mom, you touched the screen and flipped it. You haven't said anything, and you ran away. I did. I sang happy birthday. It has nothing to do with our baby. And I thank you for that. The pictures are really cute. Thanks. That was a great idea. Yeah, it was his idea. And I made the question block. Okay. Very good. A little boy. Yep. Yeah. And he likes to move a lot. You can't feel him from the outside yet, but like, seriously, he moves all the time. Hey. Hi, Joshy. <laughs> hey. Can you hear us good? Look at that. I have a really good idea on what this is. I want to know. I want to yeah, know. I yeah. know you want to know. <laughs> We're going to know first because dad is sick and mom's not at home. Yeah, your so... family doesn't know yet. You're and the first Katrina's one. Katrina's texting me right now, so we're probably going to tell her next. All right, ready? But, okay. So, one, two. Wait, can I guess? Yeah, I Yeah, go ahead. It's a girl. Okay. Right, ready? <laughs> ready? <Okay>. And? <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, it's a boy. It's a boy. <laughs> Nice. The curse is broken, there's no, <laughs> there's no more girls. Your first nephew. Oh, Sienna and the girls are going to be so happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we, you know what, uh, Tabitha at Easter was talking to Sienna and said to her, like, what do you think it was going to, or, you know, what, what do you want it to be? And she said, not a boy. And then when she asked her why, she said, he's going to bunk me on the head. <laughs> and they were like, your sister's bunk you on the head already. And she's like, oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like, it was really funny. <laughs> she was like, yeah, okay, then he can bonk me on the head. <laughs> be so I know. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, exciting. We found out last week around Tuesday. Right? Yeah. yeah so. And you're telling us just now? Well, well, we took cute pictures to post. We were going to post pictures. But we want to tell so. family, like, Face to face before yeah, posting okay. the pictures. <laughs> well, we were kind of hoping we would be down for the weekend, but we're not gonna be able to. So we thought we'd tell okay. then, but then we figured, okay, we're not really gonna be able to do it. And her, her parents are coming up this weekend, so we just decided today. I'm gonna video call you. Hold on. See, uh -huh. told you. All right. All right. <laughs> Your dad doesn't even care. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Matt. Hi Matt. We wanted a call. Tell us I have something to tell us. Yes. So, first off, what do you think? Last minute guesses. Last minute guess. It's a boy. Boy. Matt, what do you think boy. it is? Boy or girl? Is it a boy or a girl? Um. Uh, <laughs> boy or girl? 
right. Pick one, Matt. It takes the point. Okay. The okay. Well, three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yep. Some yeah. girls are just getting them to be so happy. You know, don't tell them yet because we want to tell them, but we won't be able to tell them, I guess, till tomorrow because Katrina says that Sienna's at something at 8 30 and Vivi usually yeah, punks out before then. <laughs> yes, Matt. What? Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. They, they have their own cat. They have three. They got their own cat. They got their own cat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excited. Excited. Happy. Can I eat a cookie? I just got uh, Yeah, the girls are going to be so excited because the other day I told Vivi and she goes, I want a little butter. <laughs> 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 Dad left the baby. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> Dad's done. Okay, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. All right. Okay. All right. What? Uh, yes, I asked oh. what. Go. Uh, so do you have any last minute guesses? Okay, wait. I don't remember what my guess was last. <laughs> um, but I'm going to say a boy. Okay, final answer? That's my final answer. Alright. So I go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boy! <laughs> Isn't it? I'm so excited. <laughs> the first boy of the family. That is really cool. Yeah. Cool. That would be really good. Mm. Oh, that's cute. That girl, they're going to be so happy. They keep telling me about, or Vicky keeps telling me about a boy, right? She's like, that's cool. what your mom was that saying. Was mom. <laughs> no, I'm Can't leech off Katrina now. <laughs> wow, priorities. Well, maybe <laughs> some, not all. Yeah, yes. I'm just kidding. Um, how exciting! So you guys gonna have a baby shower? Yes. <laughs> I don't know when yet, but sure. I would like to. I don't know when. Yeah, sometime in the summer. Bien, tú? bien, gracias. Hold on, before I say, what did you think it was gonna be, Grandma? What do you guys think? I Okay. Anyone else want to guess? Um, I think it would be a girl. Okay. Johnny says a boy. Boy. Okay, so two boys, one girl. Mike says a boy. All right. Three boys, one girl, huh? So, the news is we are having a boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, congrats. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 How are you guys Hi. doing? Good. <laughs> Do you know why we called? I just told them. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think it is? What do you think the baby is? Do you think Tabitha's gonna have a girl or a boy? Yeah. You, you both think girl? Girl. <laughs> girl. All right. Well, we got some balloons to show you what baby we got. All right. Two. One. <gasps> it's a boy. Do they freeze? No, oh, they froze! Froze. There we go. 
It's a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> okay, just kidding. Never mind. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> you excited, Vivi? You're excited, Vivi? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. You're. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a baby boy cousin. You're going to have yeah. a little baby boy. A little baby boy cousin. Are you excited about that? No, not your baby having a boy. Chad is like having a boy. It's me. It's our baby. Oh, so confused. Yeah, I know. <laughs> The baby's gonna be my baby. Our baby. <laughs> you excited, Sienna? Yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when you said he was gonna bunk you? And the baby, when's the baby's birthday again? September 20th. September 20th. 20th. Oh, just the 20th. 2 0. Oh, 20th. Yep. Oh, look, I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <Are you singing? laughs> it's really close to your birthday. <laughs> I miss you guys. I'm too excited. I can't. I can't. We're excited too. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a baby shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are silly. Yeah. And uh, we felt him kick today. From the outside. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I know. I should say I finally felt. Yeah, him. I've been feeling him kick for a little while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then after that, we did have another ultrasound in May. Like I said, baby boy did not want to cooperate. We got a couple pictures, but he was being very flexible. This is the best picture that we got. Um, that's his head, his nose, and this is actually his leg and his foot over his head. Um, he did not want to stop moving during that one. He was just not having it. He was like, no pictures. I take a lot of pictures. Like, you're gonna have to deal with that, baby. You're gonna have to deal with that because mom likes to take her pictures and your dad also is very camera shy. So I'm assuming that you get that from him. <laughs> so our most recent ultrasound was actually a birthday gift from my husband. So the 3D ultrasound. And we did it on my actual birthday, which was July 11th. And we got some pretty good pictures. He didn't want to cooperate again. The uh, technician there said that he had both his hands in front of his face and was also holding the umbilical cord. So I had to move a bit and we did get a couple of good ones, but his hands in the way a little bit. Here's one of baby boy. I just can't get over that you can see such detail with his nose and his lips. And uh, he said that's his hand and the umbilical cord right there. So in this one he looks like I've been calling a little grump face. They also took a photo of his heartbeat which was very interesting. Not this particular photo but on the screen while we were um, doing it he got the hiccups and the technician actually had us look at the heartbeat while he had the hiccups because it like skipped a little and it was the cutest thing to see him on the screen with the hiccups. It was adorable. But then the best one and I said that this was my favorite birthday gift this year was we he actually smiled. Look at his little open mouth. He's so cute. I can't get over it. Like I, I just I can't help but smile when I see these pictures because they're just so cute and like he's a little person. Like He's just a little person, it's so cute. So the technician working there was really nice and he said since we didn't get a full clear picture of the baby that we could come back and try again. We did offer to do that. We actually brought my parents, my husband's mom and our nieces to see the baby because they had a nice room with chairs and stuff that you could have family in. But unfortunately when we went, baby was super not cooperative. He was facing backwards and we kept trying to get him to turn and my nieces were so cute and trying to get him to like dance and sing to him and they actually sang baby shark to him which was the cutest thing ever. Unfortunately baby did not want to cooperate at all. He did get 
some pictures, they're not that great, but um, here's from that day. That's his hand covering his face right there. And then the one that my husband really likes is on the ultrasound, like the regular ultrasound, not the 3D. Uh, you can actually see that baby boy has hair. So that's apparently his hair. They said he has a lot of hair and apparently there's some myth that if you have heartburn that you're gonna have a hairy baby and I've been having heartburn all the time so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> my husband is very happy that he's gonna have a lot of hair because his cousins have actually been joking that if this baby has no hair it's not his which is hilarious because if you've seen my husband's hair it's pretty crazy. <laughs> it makes sense that this baby would have a lot of hair. So a couple days ago, we did actually just announce Baby Boy's name to our friends and family. I absolutely love his name. It did take a little while to figure out, but we absolutely love it. I was actually thinking of making a name reveal video, so I will link that once it's up. I think I'm gonna put it up after this. I am so excited, like I know our lives are going to change. I've been wanting to be a mom pretty much my whole life, and I'm so excited. And I know Chris want has wanted a family for a long time as well. Chris is the cutest thing. He talks to the baby every day and baby will kick every time he talks. It's the cutest thing. Chris will go up to my belly and talk to him and literally he'll just give one big kick and it's the cutest thing. I can't even, he gets so excited, so excited every time he hears Chris's voice. It is so cute. So our baby shower is actually in just two weeks and I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's gonna be rubber ducky themed because <laughs> I love rubber ducks and it's a good excuse to have a rubber duck themed party because when else are you gonna have a rubber duck themed party? I don't know, but I just, I think it's perfect and I'm excited. So that's pretty much everything very condensed of what I went through through my pregnancy. Like I said, I'm going to be 32 weeks tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed seeing clips from this experience. It is definitely very exciting and nerve-wracking and it's just a lot to process and <laughs> I'm so excited but I'm also I can't I can't lie I am a little nervous but you know what are you gonna do I should probably show my belly at least once in this video because I feel huge and I waddle and I know I'm only 32 weeks pregnant but like every time I'm like wow my stomach is so big so this is my belly as of today 32 weeks tomorrow like I said my app says that baby 
it is about as big as a squash now. Whatever that means. <laughs> I always find these uh, app updates about fruit funny because it's like, baby is the size of a strawberry. Baby is the size of an apple. Baby is the size of asparagus. Like what? A bundle of asparagus? It could be any size. A strawberry could be this big. A strawberry could be this big. I've seen some big strawberries. I just think it's funny how they compare. But yeah, apparently baby is as big as a squash now. <laughs> well, I hope you're all having a great day. And I just, I just can't wait to meet my son. And I'm so excited. And that's pretty much it. Have a good one. Bye.